Thank you so much for joining us again today uh, for the weekly message of hope uh, brought to you by Jeremiah Zioka. I'm so happy you are joining me. In the book of uh, the Gospel of Mark, uh, the Gospel of Mark chapter 1, the very first chapter of Mark, uh, verse 40, is it, uh, we're talking of verse 40, uh, and the, you know, reading downwards. We'll read a few verses. It says, Now a leper came uh, to Jesus. Uh, it says to him, imploring him, kneeling down to him and saying to him, If you are willing, you can make me clean. Then Jesus moved with compassion, stretched out his hand and touched him and said to him, I am willing, uh, be cleansed. And as soon as he spoke, as soon as he had spoken, immediately the leprosy left him and he was cleansed. And he strictly warned him and sent him away at once and said to him, See that you say nothing to anyone, but go your way, show yourself to the priest and offer you, uh, for your cleansing those things which Moses commanded as a testimony to them. However, he went out and began to proclaim it freely and to spread the matter so that Jesus could no longer openly enter the city but was outside in deserted places and they came to him from every direction. He say, it says that he was moved with compassion at the request of the leper for mercy and for heaven. Jesus was moved with compassion. He stretched out his hand and touched him and said to him, I am willing to be cleansed. Nobody was comfortable going close to a leper because anyone that had leprosy, of course, was a very lonely person because nobody wanted to associate uh, with such sickly people. But Jesus touches this person. Jesus adoringly, I must uh, imagine, touches the leper and he tells him, I am willing to be cleansed. Look at that affirmation. Look at that uh, compassion. Look at that picture of Jesus touching the man of the leper who had just said, if you are willing, you can make me clean. And it says that I am willing to be cleansed. Jesus is willing to make us whole. He is willing to make us complete. That's why he came. He came to destroy the works of Satan. He came to destroy the, the works of our enemy. He came to save us from our various, uh, various shortcomings, various sins, various uh, battles and uh, areas of need. He came to save us. Uh, and therefore he has been willing to redeem us. Uh, he is willing and ready to help us. He is compassionate and he is willing. Friends, in our today's message of hope, I'm reminding us that Jesus is compassionate and he is willing to make us whole. He is willing to make me whole. So what does that tell you? It tells you that it's up to you and me. to access this already available, compassionate master who is willing to make us whole. Is there an area in our lives that needs to be made whole? Is there any, uh, any plaque in us that needs healing? Is there any a part of our bodies that needs the touch of the master? Our, the master is ready and willing to fix this problem. So let us go to him. Let us go to him, friends. Let us therefore boldly approach the throne of grace where we can receive mercy at our time of need. And this is always available in Christ. Help us, Lord, today to come to you because you are the ever-available, compassionate healer, deliverer, saviour, Redeemer, every powerful uh, ability possible 
you are able to do it, Lord. We surrender to you and we ask that you heal us, touch us with your compassion, touch us with your mercy, touch us with your healing, and help us, Lord. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you richly. Uh, thank you for always joining us in this message of hope. And remember to share this, if possible, uh, on your social media uh, platforms. You can share with your friends and ask them to uh, also subscribe to this channel. We will be sharing messages of hope, messages of healing, messages of deliverance, messages of the, uh, what God has done and what he wants to do in our lives. And I believe that you will be identified and you will be beautified and prepared for, uh, you know, your next victory in Christ. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I pass our regards to your loved ones and let us see you next time. May God keep you until then. Amen.